Hey, good morning, everyone. Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. I'm here at Broken Bow Lake. Uh, that's at uh, Beaver Bend State Park in Oklahoma. Thought I'd come down this morning and uh, and uh, try my hand at a little photography. So, uh, got me a composition lined up down here at a little uh, little place called the. I think it's the uh, Broken Bow Overlook. But uh, anyway, and it, it doesn't disappoint. It's a great overlook of the lake. But uh, I'll show me, show you my composition. Uh, kind of. I think this is it right here. Uh, so I've got the uh, uh, kind of the bluff area there in the uh, lower left section of the frame and using this tree as kind of an anchor point to uh, to bring some balance to the image. I'm really hoping for uh, for that sky to light up but I'm not sure what it's going to do. I don't think it's going to be spectacular but I mean the image in itself might be uh, might be fine even with the conditions like they are right now. Of course, uh, you never really know until you get back in post-processing and, and take a look at the image. Well, even if I don't capture the award-winning image today, I've got some great coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, my plan for today uh, is kind of a uh, scout the area i've been to uh been to this area many times but uh there's still uh, it's a big lake and there's still quite a bit of uh territory to, to discover so i've got a couple of uh locations that i had looked at on satellite and i'll go explore those locations today and see what i can uh, see what i can find and possibly capture an image tomorrow uh i'm potentially facing some rain so i don't mind a little bit of rain as long as it brings good skies so uh well we'll see Well, it looks like some colors rolling in. Yeah, I think this guy will probably work for this image. And uh, it, uh, who knows, it might even get better. Endless possibilities at Broken Bow Lake, though. Well, I, I think that's probably about the peak sky right there. Uh, I'm going to grab the image. Well, that's one image in the tank. I think it's okay. Um, maybe not an award winner, but nevertheless, okay. I'm still going to give that sky a little bit more time. You know, sometimes it really surprises you. You know, I was capturing this image, and one of the things I was thinking about is a tip I learned years and years ago. But when you're, when you're using your viewfinder to capture an image, and this is one of the main reasons I like the viewfinder versus the LCD, is that you can do what I call the four-point check, which is where you just basically start in the in any corner, but I start in the upper right corner, and I look for any kind of uh, distractions that might be in the image or, or branches coming in or uh, elements that don't add value to the composition. So I scan from the, from the top right corner all the way over to the left corner of the frame uh, and then down to the bottom left and, and uh, back up all the way uh, across and up. So, yeah, I think um, that, that was a very... Uh, very useful uh, tip that I that I uh, I got a long time ago. So, yeah, definitely four point check. Yeah, I was I was really struggling this morning. Uh, I I got up and rolled out of my tent, and uh, I was debating on a couple of areas to go to. So, you know, having been here before and and uh, and some of the other areas, I didn't really want to take a chance and go to a new area this morning. So, I kind of wanted to stick with a with a go to area. Uh, where I knew that I had uh, other compositions in mind that I'd scouted out previously, so uh, what, I guess I played it safe. So, yeah, maybe a little gutless, but uh, I always say nothing venture, nothing gain. But uh, but I'm definitely playing it safe this morning. Well, looks like that's it for the color. Um, yeah, you know, it's not always about color. To contrast has a lot to do with this, and you know, I mean. Sometimes you can make a, a clear sky work in an image. It just depends on the image. 
depends on the foreground it depends on uh, a lot of things but uh, but I, I usually wind up and find that uh, you know contrast is more in interesting so some type of uh, something in the sky is always better than nothing so um, yeah I, I think even though you maybe you don't have the greatest color but but you have some pretty good cloud coverage it's pretty good contrast in the sky and uh, and sometimes that can make the difference but certainly the difference between a uh, a poor image and, and a and a good one yeah hey I almost forgot I wanted to show you this uh, this uh, hill people gear um, just just a fantastic carry for phones um, compartment for other things uh, I keep some uh, uh, lint free cloths in here just things to uh, take care of my camera I keep business cards in here it's easy access so yeah, yeah I really like this so handy tool for photography well all right that's it for this morning I'm gonna head back to camp and uh, make some coffee and sit down and think about my plans for the day and what I'm gonna scout out next okay thinking about where I'm gonna go later I don't know about the weather in the morning so if I get rained out I get rained out but I but I need to have a plan nonetheless yeah I mean it's uh, truly best to have a plan I've got an idea of where I want to go uh, one of them involves a little bit of a hike probably about a half a mile hike and the other um, not so much, uh, maybe a small hike, but, uh, well, I'm going to get ready here in a little bit and drive around and, uh, see where, see what I can, uh, find. I've got a couple of areas, a couple of new areas that I'm scouting out and, uh, I want to see how, I want to see how those areas turn out. So we'll see. <laughs> One of the uh, areas I was scoping out on my list was uh, Mountain Fork Park. It's uh, it's kind of uh, got a rocky, at least from the satellite footage uh, that I could see, it's got a kind of a rock garden. So I was kind of hoping that uh, there'd be some interesting looking rocks and uh, maybe some trees uh, that I might be able to capture a sunrise or a sunset, maybe both. So uh, we'll get down here and uh, we'll, we'll see. A little, a little tricky find in this place though. looks like it was probably part of this rock garden that I was seeing on satellite imagery. This is an interesting place. I'll certainly mark it on my GPS and, uh, and, and come back in the future when the uh, probably later this summer when the water levels are down on the lake. Interesting. I, I, I picture this with uh, with a rocky uh, foreground, some interesting trees, and uh, maybe a, a light mist or fog would be would be perfect for this setting. I think it definitely has potential. Yeah, this is a interesting campground. I, I would probably stay here. Um, however, I, I called ahead and I, I found out that they this area is closed and uh, closed for camping. It's open for fishing, but. Uh, I think they're uh, I think they're selling it or, or actually they're they're privatizing it so uh, probably going to be some uh, private company that takes ownership of this and and uh, maybe turns it into a great campground so 
actually turn it back into a great campground. Look pretty great in the first place. Yeah, I like nice uh, spots like this. Lots of tree coverage. Sound of the uh, water rushing by. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. That's a little trail here. Just kind of walk down a little bit and see see if there's anything interesting. I think whatever whatever rocks were here are long gone, so I'm uh, not going to be seeing that again until after this water drops. Interesting. Well, it looks like the end of the line. All right, well, so I'll head back to the car and uh, scout out my next location. So windy around this bend that could uh, that can actually help broken bow is a massive place take a look at that yeah it's it's a beautiful lake it truly is truly yeah you know even if all else fails I mean, it's a beautiful day. It's great to be out. I'm in the woods. I'm on a hike. Yeah, how do you beat that? It's a lovely trail, but uh, the areas that I was interested in, the rocky shores, uh, look like uh, look like the lake is. Uh, covering it up right now so yeah this uh, the, these high waters are really covering up some of the uh, some of the foreground interest that I was uh, looking at on satellite imagery so I guess I'll have to uh, improvise and scout out a new uh, couple new ideas so I might head back to camp and uh, kind of reassess everything uh, draw me some new plans yeah I made it to the to the other side yep doesn't look like uh, actually actually this area right here is where I was this morning but uh but the trail down uh, the rocky shores I was looking for just not gonna not gonna pan out so they're pretty much underwater I'll uh, I'll see what uh, what else I can find but I thought about a, a composition right here but uh, I just don't see how to pull it together you know, I was maybe thinking about, uh, I just can't get this, this, this area here. I just, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. At least I can't make it work. So it's beautiful, but uh, beautiful doesn't necessarily equate to a great image. So, I mean, it can be a beautiful image, but, you know, it, it still lacks uh, many elements to be a good composition. No composition that way. Um, yeah, shoot. All right, well, I think I'm gonna head back to uh, camp. I'm gonna stop by and get some lunch. 
I gotta I gotta come up with an image for this evening. The skies I think are gonna be okay. You know, it's probably gonna be some cloud coverage. Might be a little bit windy, so I'll probably try to eliminate the any trees uh, in the foreground and concentrate on kind of the uh, the bluffs. Anyway, I know of a couple areas I might be able to line up a comp this evening, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to check those out. All right, more to follow. Yeah, this is the place I was telling you about. One of the best corn dogs I've ever had, honestly. Let's go get one. Now, what is the uh, the hot dog that's the claim? Oh, let me see those right there. That is it. Yeah, look at that. So that there is the uh, the Big Daddy. Then is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. Well, I guess that's what I'm having. So, Sophia, uh, that's uh, that's what you're gonna get me then, right? Yep. All right. And I guess I'll have a drink with that. Okay. All right. All right. Looking forward to this. Now, what's the most popular thing? Um, hot mama, taco nachos, and any of the corn dogs. Hey, how long have you guys been here? Coming up on three years. Come July. Three years. Three years. Yes, sir. It's been a great three years too. A lot of growth. All right, Cody, is that mine? Yes, sir, that's yours. That pretty good, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, I'll see you guys. All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. Right. Foot-long hot dog. What a massive hot dog. I'm not gonna finish this, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. I just realized one of these massive hot dogs was on a chopstick. That's pretty cool. Well, came back to the uh, campsite. Thought I'd relax a little bit and kind of formulate my uh, my plan for this evening, if there is a plan. So, uh, based on the weather. So, we'll see. Uh, anyway, uh, the good news is those corn dogs were tasty. The, uh, the bad news is I ate both of them. So, anyway, shoo. Time to relax. Oh, yeah, and uh, I wash that down with a little uh, Budweiser 0, 0.0. This is the photographer's choice drink because you can have a beer and not worry about uh, picking back up and getting back on the road and doing your travels. So, um, yeah. Ah, very tasty. Well, I'm on my way to uh, to an area where there's a, uh, some rocky uh, interest in the foreground. It's a little small rapids uh, coming off of uh, from the spillway from the lake. And uh, I'm early, but I uh, really want to kind of get down here early and see if I can line up a composition. And, uh, and uh, I'm prepared to sit around for a little bit, so see what the uh, sunrise or excuse me the sunset brings so we'll see Well, I was going to head down for my uh, for the other composition I had lined up, but uh, really and truly, I've only got uh, about 30 minutes to sunset, so I'm just going to kind of stay here and see what the color does. 
I, I don't have a lot of image in my, or excuse me, a, a lot of sky in my image, but uh, that's not really what I'm worried about. What I really would like is the color to be cast down on the water. And you can kind of see faint hints of it there. And uh, so that's really what I'm trying to capture. Hopefully we'll get some color and uh, I can get those uh, reflections off the water. I got it is about as good as I'm gonna get it. So I really wanted more color on the water, but uh, I'll take what I can get. This is not uh, not the easiest uh, composition um, that I've tried to capture. So if I get something that's pretty good, I'll be pretty happy. All right, I'm packing up. back at camp laying in my hammock right now relaxing pretty enjoyable I must say I've had a long day pretty tired yeah I was looking at the weather forecast for the morning um, what's predicting rain probably 50 60 percent chance uh, I'm gonna get up probably about four and uh, if it's raining I'll probably sleep in and just get on the road after that so but anyway uh, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But anyway, if I don't see you tomorrow, I guess I'll uh, catch you later. So, as always, uh, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll maybe I'll see you on the trail somewhere. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. See you next time. Mm -hmm.